Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new vlog, another day in the life of a seven-figure agency owner. Now, I've got a, a very special, I've got a very special one for you today. Uh, we've got a bit of a different setup. We just arrived in Capri, Italy. Uh, incredible location and you're in for an incredible, incredible ride. Now, this vlog is going to be a mixture of work. I'm going to be showing you how I run my, my seven-figure social media marketing agency while I travel, while I experience the world with my beautiful girlfriend as we're talking to the camera right now, Augusta, as well as, you know, lifestyle, you know, a bit of traveling and all that stuff. So, uh, very, very exciting stuff coming. And uh, without further ado, let's get right to it. All right, guys, so we just got to the villa now. The views are amazing. And I'm about to give you a, a little quick tour around the villa because what would be a vlog without a, uh, a villa tour? But yeah, we just got to the, the villa. The views are incredible. It's kind of uh, the landscape that uh, we're used to already from where we were previously. So I didn't tell you guys much about it, but before Capri, we actually did the Amalfi Coast. So we went to Positano, we went to Amalfi and a bunch of other really, really cool towns. If you guys want to go to Capri, we definitely recommend you do the Amalfi Coast for us because it's very close and it's definitely very beautiful. And before that, I was actually on a, on a boat trip uh, with the lads around Sardinia. So we're kind of used to the landscape already, but uh, the views aren't as incredible. And so with that being said, let's cut into the villa tour. Welcome to the villa tour, guys. Is uh, if you've watched any of the previous episodes, you know that the villa tour or the house tour, wherever it is, whatever tour there is, is part of the it's part of the vlog, right? So I'm going to show you inside, then I'm going to show you the outside, and uh, without further ado, let's go right into it now. We always forget to do these at the start, and so we we always have to tidy things up because the house is just a mess. But luckily, we uh, we're doing this uh, at the very start, so. The house is looking clean, and if we come through, one of the one of my well, one of our favorite parts of the, the villa is the fact that it's got some incredible views to the sea, and so we've got Capri, the whole the mountain, the sea on one side. Um, this is just going to be a really good vibe uh, in the evening, 8, 9 p.m. We've got some tennis courts even, uh, and so. Yeah, maybe before lunch we'll have a bit of Prosecco and then, you know, we'll head over. Uh, but this is the main living area. That's the Prosecco bottle that we're gonna crack on with. Um, so if we come through, we've got the kitchen. Honestly, I'm very pleasantly surprised by the quality of everything. Um, so we've got the kitchen, we've got quite a bit of utensils. So here's where we'll probably find Augusta cooking me some nice, Pasta with pesto or bolognese <laughs> or whatever, whatever is on the card. But here we've got, you know, so that <laughs> here we've got one of the rooms. Uh, we just throw everything in there, guys, so that we can do the store. But it's a really nice bedroom. <laughs> and then we've got a bathroom there. This is this is looking like a bit of a, a frat house with the hat, the shirt. But if we come through, we've got the main bathroom, uh, the main bathroom, <laughs> and um, we've got the, the street now. One of the main, my main, I mean, one of my favorite things about this bedroom is the fact that we've got uh, sea views. So quite, quite cool. If we come through now, I'm going to show the outside, which is pretty spectacular, especially given that Capri is such a small town where like space is the most valued commodity right uh, so we're very very happy with, with this space if we come through this is the outside area so we've got our little private hot tub i wouldn't call it a pool but it is a hot tub so private hot tub the chin space the uh sun bed and just incredible, incredible views. Just for you guys to like get a bit of an idea. Mm. Just for you guys to get a bit of an idea of the terrace that I just showed you. Oh, yeah. And um, that is that for this villa tour. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys got a bit of a, a glimpse as to what Capri actually looks like. I, I don't know about you, but I always find this very interesting just looking at like what different towns and cities look like. For me, Capri has always been such a dream destination and to see it like live is 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 uh, it's pretty incredible. So, and and to stay in this type of villa is is, is quite quite mind-boggling. But um, yeah, we'll get straight into the next part of the vlog. 
All right, so we're served. We've got <clears throat> nice breakfast. <laughs> A really nice view. Some fruit, an omelette, a bit of OJ as usual. The bowl, you cannot miss the bowl. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get straight into this and I'll see you guys in the next clip. Alright guys, so just wrapped up uh, a bit of work this morning. Now the way I structure work during my vacations and, and really depends on what type of vacation I'm having. If I'm having kind of like a work getaway, right? Uh, where I'm, I'm essentially switching locations but I'm still in work mode, then it'll be a completely different schedule and I'll pretty much stick to my regular schedule uh, with a bit of change of scenery and going to different places and all that stuff. But this type of vacation is more of a let me relax, let me take a, a, a week off where I don't really think much about work, recharge the batteries and, and really go hard and when I come back to Madrid. But one of the things that, that I like to do is I get my hygiene standard activities done, right? And what those are are things that don't necessarily skyrocket the business because quite frankly, I'm not looking to grow the business this week, right? Because I'm, again, recharging, but I've got an incredible team that can take care of the business and keep it cruising and keep it steadily going up, right? And so. The hygiene standard activities uh, include things like talking to my team members, uh, talking to my clients, checking on how sales are going, right? How much revenue we generated yesterday and the, the previous days and, and how things are, are, are looking. Getting a few high revenue generating activities done, for example, uh, with follow-ups, with uh, you know, setting meetings for next week when I come back to Madrid. And also for my personal brand side of things, uh, talking to my editor, making sure that uh, we're uploading things and, and things are going smoothly and uh, things are getting edited and I'm improving things. So those are some of the hygiene standard activities that I complete on a daily basis. And so usually that takes me around an hour and a half to two hours every single day. I do them before breakfast, so currently it's around 9 a.m. Uh, so I get them done before breakfast, before the day uh, begins. And so I've already done all the things that I gotta do uh, today to make sure that I can recharge, relax, and uh, obviously I'll be, you know, I'll check Slack here and there, maybe 15, 20, 30 minutes, making sure that my clients are really well taken care of, making sure that my team members are well taken care of and there's no emergency um, um, uh, happening. But that's a little nugget on how I think about work when I'm recharging and in vacation mode. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to a beach club, which I believe, I'm not sure, but I believe is in that, uh, in that, um, uh, inside of the, the island right and so uh yeah we're gonna go there uh it's, yeah, apparently it's, it's a really really good vibe so we're gonna go to that beach club then we have a boat trip a uh, private boat trip organized around the island so I'm, I'm really looking forward to that and then i'm not too sure i will bring you guys along uh, with me hopefully i'm not the best at vlogging honestly what i do on a daily basis is just growing businesses but i'll try to bring you guys uh with us because augusta has done a lot of the heavy lifting when it comes to organizing this amazing trip and so uh Let's get right into that. <laughs> so I'm helping her record some reels. Um, she's going hard on the reels. Uh, she, how many followers do you have on TikTok? Almost 100k. 100k followers on TikTok. And how many on IG? Like 30 plus. 30 plus k comes to show. You guys have to, if you're trying to create content, you have to stay consistent. Because she's posting like three, four times a day, right? She's posting three, four times a day on IG Reels. Look at her. <laughs> so I'm gonna help her record some uh, content and uh, hopefully it goes uh, as planned. Another day on another boat. Uh, this time we're taking a tour through Capri, actually through the grottos, which are the caves of Capri. So we're going around the island and uh, this very nice gentleman is showing us uh, around. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have fun. So, so yeah, we're gonna see some photos and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next day. So if you guys are ever in Capri, definitely recommend taking a private boat uh, trip. These boats are like the very classic, like Italian style, Capri style uh, boats, and uh, you can see the island from the water because the landscape is, is honestly it's honestly incredible. So uh, really enjoying this so far, and uh, we'll come to the next bit. So we are here in the beach club. It's not much of a beach because Capri doesn't have beaches actually. It doesn't have sand, right? <laughs> right. It doesn't have sand, so it's a, it's a bit of concrete rock. It's a bit of rock. And uh, the views are great because we're next to the big, the, the, the very famous rocks, right? Faraglioni. Faraglioni. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get something to eat here. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Alright, so we're in this place called 
Il Rizzo, it's a beach club slash restaurant. We forgot to uh, record the rest of the plates, the dishes. So I'll leave a bunch of screenshots, but really top. Now we're digging into um, this dessert, which we actually handpicked and they have this temptation chamber. Really cool stuff, but maybe leave a, a few pictures as well. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead, swim a bit. Uh, that's what the, the views are looking like. It's, it's got an incredible, incredible view. So we're gonna go ahead and swim, maybe go up to the deck, um, take in the sun, and then uh, we'll see where, where it takes us. So I'll see you guys in the, in the next clip. Having a nice mojito, strawberry mojito. Um, Freshly squeezed, apparently. But uh, yeah, we're having a little cocktail before our dinner here at Punta Tragara. It's a really good spot. Uh, we're looking to see the sunset. It's going to be a bit hard. <laughs> We've got a few, a few clouds, but yeah, it's a really, really good vibe. So we're going to dig into our cocktails, and um, I'll see you guys in the next clip. All right, so a bit of a, a change of scenery. Hope you guys have uh, enjoyed the vlog so far. I know it's a bit all over the place, and I'm definitely one of the worst uh, at vlogging and uh, and kind of like especially travel vlogs uh, because one of the aims is to um just kind of relax and, and uh, take my mind off work so i film little bits and pieces and uh try to put together a vlog for you guys but hopefully uh, you've enjoyed it so far as i said change of scenery because uh right now i'm back in madrid if i get this mic to find it work as I said, a bit of a change of scenery because I'm back in Madrid and I wanted to uh, wrap up the vlog and I wanted to leave you with two of the things that I'm learning as I've caught this kind of like travel bug uh, where I, I'm traveling more than I ever have and I'm traveling to really cool places, uh, kind of, you know, places that, that were on my bucket list for a few years um, with Augusta and, um, and you know, just really just having a, a really, really good time, a really fun time. So the first lesson that I've learned is the importance of, at least for me, the importance of traveling. Now. I'm not going to tell you how to live or how to spend your money, but one of the things about me is I want to spend my money on, on more than, you know, buying luxury goods, which at least for me, um, I'm not really attracted to. More than that, spending that money on, on experiences, uh, spending the money on, on things that are going to make you grow, right? So anything that is going to make me grow, I'm going to spend money on, whether it's a really nice place where I can work from, where I can create content from, um, where I can, you know, relax and, and recharge. Uh, from, for example, uh, you know, building my team, spending money on equipment. So everything that I've spent money on has been on growth, right? On, on things that would make me grow. And up until this point, before I started traveling, I didn't see traveling or these type of experiences as growth activities. Yet, as I began traveling quite a bit um, over the past uh, half year and, and, you know, close to a year now, I've come to realize just how important it is. It helps me broaden my horizons, my perspective of the world. It makes me more knowledgeable person. I broadens my empathy for people. Um, I get to learn different cultures. I get to learn how you know different cultures react to different things. Uh, what resonates with specific cultures. I get to see the world, um, and that for me is incredibly valuable. And it's something that I think everyone, if you have the money and the time, location, freedom, everyone should experience. And so I'm super grateful for the places I'm getting to travel and the experiences I'm getting to uh, live. But also for the business that I've built that not only gives me financial freedom, but also time, location, freedom. And I'm starting to realize just how important these two other uh, freedoms are. Because sure, you can have financial freedom, but if you don't have time, location, freedom, then, you know, what's the money really for, right? And so that's really the first lesson. Spending money on experiences, spending money on traveling, for me, has been such a growth activity and something that I think is such an incredible investment, right? Uh, and so if you can, definitely go out there and see the world. Again, not telling you how to live, but just sharing some of the things that I'm learning. And the second thing that I've learned is that less is more sometimes. One of the things about me and, and the way I used to behave and the, the way I used to think is previously, if I was not working, then I would be stressed out because I'm not putting time into my business and this month is not gonna be as big as last month, et cetera, et cetera. And one of the things I've realized is that the past two months have literally been the biggest for my businesses. Yet the past two months, I've spent the least amount of time in my office and the least amount of hours probably, you know, actually putting in the work. And so one of the things that I've come to realize is that I'm not saying this is going to happen right when you're starting out is where I'm currently at, at the stage of my journey, right? And this may not apply for the vast majority of you, but it gets to a point where sometimes the answer to that next breakthrough is not working more, but taking some time off to really see the treetops and not be stuck in the trenches 
and taking some time off to really reflect on where you want to go next on some things that you're currently doing that you shouldn't be doing on some things that you should be delegating on hiring new people so that they can do the work for you and so sometimes the hustle and the grind is not the answer to get to that next level now as i mentioned for most of you the grind the hustle putting in the work is the answer especially at the start but understand that as you scale the things that got you to 10k a month to 50k per month will not get you to 100k per month or a million per month um, so understand that for different stages of the journey you might have to implement different modes of thinking different uh, routines and strategies and structures and that's what i've learned during the past two months where i've traveled a lot i've spent less time in the office yet I've grown the most and that's because I've changed my rigid structures, my rigid routines that, that had gotten me to where I was before, before I made the big breakthrough. So my friend, those are the two lessons that I wanted to leave you with and that, that is the outro to this vlog. Again, we hope you uh, you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do, drop a massive thumbs up, helps out with the algorithm, the whole channel and I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you're watching this and you don't know who I am and you haven't subbed to my channel, there's a lot of content coming your way. So if you don't want to miss that, go ahead and sub and hit the little bell icon so you never miss an update. And the final thing is, if you haven't joined my incredible free mastermind on Facebook where I'm posting content that I'm not posting anywhere else, go ahead and check out the link in the description. You can apply and if you're a good fit, we'll let you in. And as always, hope everything's gone well in your journey and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.